Hello YouTube. This is Cast WMS and it's been a long time since I have videotaped and uploaded anything. I'm not sure if this is going to be able to get uploaded today, which is February 14th, Valentine's Day. So, I got to say happy Valentine's Day to everybody and um I'm going to try to get this uploaded. ASAP. I'm rusty on some of the things, but um, I'm videotaping this early. Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2019. All right. Everyone's into junk journals, and so I've gotten inspired by junk journals. And I... I have collected a lot of things, and I've tried to put a lot of things together. So this is the first little golden book junk journal that I have done a video of. I made another one, and I gave it away to a, a child. So I'm not quite sure how they ended up appreciating it. I can't remember. Things just go so quickly. I can't even remember which child I gave it to. <laughs> but, um... So I wanted to do a flip through of this junk journal. Um, and I'm thinking about making junk journals and posting them to my Etsy, which is right now empty. And um, based on the kind of response I get with this video will tell me, whoops, excuse me, my it's time to wake up alarm. But I woke up earlier, so... <laughs> So um, I wanted to see what kind of response I got from this video, and um, that will determine how many more books and when I end up posting some books up to my Etsy. Um, but my I do have an Etsy, but like I said, it's empty right now. So let me walk you through this book. Um, it is a as I said, a little golden book, and it happens to be a classic. You never know that little red caboose um, who could. And so I um, I tried to keep, since I ended up going with um, these these rings, old rings, I'm not quite sure what to call them. Um, since I, I went with these rings and I punched out the... Um, the side of the book to, to bind it. I decided that I, I wanted to keep the little golden book tape. So I was able to peel it off on one side and um, kept it on the other side and I just folded it, folded it back and then punched it. And so my book is the original and I don't have a ruler, but my book is the original width of the little golden book. Some people cut off this piece and then you, if you want to keep the text, you know, it becomes problematic. But this book is complete in the, the way the story goes. And so you can read this book. But what I did was I inserted some pages. So, um, the little golden book, this book, um, was not written in, so I left it blank just the way it was. Um, I wrote myself a little note. I think there are 63 pages. I think counting one page at a time, there are 63 pages. Uh, I still got to go to work this morning, so I won't be able to... I mean, I, I probably make this flip be quick. <laughs> so, okay. The little red caboose. Let me sit that there. Um, I had this really cute set of note cards. I put a little washi tape here and punch the envelope. I kind of put the washi tape to kind of cover up the stickum part. But here's a place where you could journal on this. I just stuck it in, slipped it in that way. Oh, a mark on that. Okay. Well, so turn around like that. I added a 
page from a Zentangle book. My mother was a bookkeeper, so I had um, some old bookkeeper page. So some of them are, this one is a little yellow from age. I had this um, notepad with um, oops, days of the week. And jot down a note. I don't know why I put two together there. Maybe because the paper is so thin and I didn't realize some drawing paper right here. I had some writing paper with um, Dr. Seuss on it. So I have that. I took some um, cardstock, punched out some of the corners here. On the back, I used some washi tape, another cardstock, and then here's the story The Little Red Caboose. It has the original information, the ISBN for the book lovers. That number is in here. There's another card stock, drawing page, or drawing paper. The story is in more pages or more um, card stock. Scrapbook paper. Okay. More of the story. Uh, just white line paper. Another page to color. Um, drawing paper. Uh, this one was a fold out and I put Be Wonderful. This is construction paper, but not the plain construction paper, the, the fancier kind. I can't remember what it's called, but like the premier construction, sulfite construction paper. Um, scrapbook. Um, here is a play school first word. Another week. Drawing paper. Part of the story. Here I made a pocket and um, I had um, and I punched it by mistake. So I might put some washi tape there. You tuck that in. You can tuck something in there. Bookkeeping. More drawing. Scrapbook. Story. Scrapbook paper. Another paint chip. Some more Dr. Seuss. More drawing paper. A uh, stamp. Make today amazing. Oh, not a stamp. Washi tape. Make today amazing. The story. Scrapbook. And I think this is Bristol. Bristol board um, paper. For cardstock. Some more cardstock. Drawing. The story. Line. Scrapbook. Here is a a postcard advertisement for highlights, and I used to love highlights, so I just included this. So this is the this is truly truly junk junk from the mail. I just put it in this advertisement. So it's more paper. I need a drink of water. <laughs> paper writing paper and I love this because it, on the side here it has the full cat in the hat and so if you're teaching a child to write it could be you know you started you know you start at the hat go to the belly down to the feet you could say for handwriting I love this paper I love it too much that I've had it for a while and I haven't shared it with little people, <laughs> too many little people. I'm like, mm, are you ready to take my paper? <laughs> oh, so yeah. More um, scrapbook, scrapbook. Yep, story, scrapbook, scrapbook. Um, construction paper, sulfide construction. The story, scrapbook. Notepad. Here's another drawing page, color or coloring page. 
Ah, and now the children wave at the big black engine and at all the cars. Yeah. But they save their biggest wave for the little red caboose because the little red caboose saved the train. More drawing paper and scrapbook. And then the back of the book. So this was a pretty clean book. You know, there was no no writings or anything in it. Um, I Someone had said something about finding the published date information, you know, when it was printed. So I'm going to say this was a fairly, it's got barcode on it. So, you know, it's, you know, part of the new, the new sets of um, Little Red Caboose. I mean, um, little golden books. So I was going to, um, let's say about posting it on my Etsy. I know for sure that this weekend, so on Saturday, what, what's Saturday's date? The eight, is it the 18th? What's Saturday? Um... So, today is Thursday. So, so Thursday, I would say Saturday afternoon, it will definitely be up in my Etsy shop. And Rusty Me didn't even think about the Etsy, my Etsy shop name. But I'll have it. By Thursday, I will definitely have it posted in my, um, oh, oh, okay, I found it. Oh, oh, shame on me, shame on me. So, it would be in my Etsy.com shop slash shop Clay Cass. Clay, C-L-A-Y Cass, C-A-S-S. -S. Because originally when I opened my shop, I was only dedicated to, um, I was only dedicated to clay. So clay. So my shop is Clay Cast. And it does say Palmer Clay Artist and more. And this is part of my and more. Okie dokie. All right. Thank you. Please, um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe and click. I'm having difficulties, like my little friends, the um, <laughs> twins. If you click on the notification button, then each time that I do upload, you'll be notified. I've rearranged my room. I kind of had to out of necessity. And I think with this arrangement, it should be easier for me to make videos. And I want to thank you and ta-ta for now. And everyone, make sure they have a wonderful, wonderful, happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.